Keith Lyle is a nice kid from a nice home in a nice part of town. He has had a terrible struggle with drugs. Pot, alcohol, hash, hash oil, uppers, downers, different prescriptions that I didn't know what they were, THC, PCP, mushrooms, acid. There were times where I felt like I would smoke, smoke toothpaste and Lipton tea bags and anything I could because I couldn't get drugs. Could because I couldn't get drugs. Was there a time when you thought you were going crazy? All my all my friends were all running around and they were always smiling and I was smiling when I was outside. But there was times I wanted to kill myself. His parents enrolled Keith in a drug rehabilitation program. He ran away five times. The last time, his father threatened to break his legs. I gave him the example, first of all, of the shepherd and the sheep, where the shepherd goes out and gets the lost sheep the second and the third time. But after the third time, finally the shepherd breaks the legs of the little lamb, puts the lamb on his shoulders, and then carries it back to the flock and lays it down and moves it for fresh grass. And every time they move, he puts his little sheep on his shoulders. Keith eventually won his struggle against drugs. He got a job at a golf course, went back to school, stayed drug-free for nearly two years. Even when he was terribly injured in a motorcycle accident, he asked the doctors not to give him any drugs to kill the pain. He didn't want to slip back into that nightmare world. Then, last fall, Keith's little brother Andy needed a kidney transplant. Keith's kidney was a perfect match. Without the operation, Andy ran the risk of a heart attack. But the procedure would be so painful for Keith, doctors suggested he take morphine. We don't think that people should be heroes, unless they want to be. And uh, so we offered him what we felt we could reasonably offer him. I was petrified. I was just petrified. I'm, I'm allergic to pain. And it will hurt. Keith's kidney was not the only one available, but it had the best chance for a successful transplant. His brother had had 17 operations in 15 years. He was getting worse, and he was starting to get bone disease, like in his legs and stuff like that. And they had him on a really strict diet. And when he'd go to dialysis, there was a couple times where they said he could have died today. Keith decided to give Andy a second chance on life, just as he had been given. I've seen both my boys going to surgery at the same time. I think I worried more about Keith than Andy. Here he is well and healthy and getting his life in order. And it's, it was hard for him, for me to see him. Surgeons at Shands Hospital in Gainesville, Florida, carried Keith's kidney across the hall to his brother. They said that uh, the kidney was working. Liquid gold. Liquid gold. And I said, praise the Lord. And the doctor said, yes. Andy recovered quickly. Keith was rapidly weaned from the morphine, but his pain was excruciating. And you still did it. I care about my brother. That's not too bad at all. It's did you think it'd be worse than that? He will just fit in with everybody else. He's going to be normal. You know, that's something that some people just assume it's, it's, it's just taken for granted, I guess. But for him, it's like something that's fantastic. It's like something that's been undreamed of, you know, for all his life. It's, he's never even thought about it. Doctors say they will not know for another week or so if Andy's body will reject Keith's kidney. But the kidney is working, and Andy's bladder is functioning for the first time in 13 years. You made it. You're going to make two Egg McMuffins? Yeah, well, just in case they're small. <laughs> the morning Keith left, Andy ordered a feast. All the food he had not been allowed before. But this is a juvenile menu. You know how many small portions they give you? Let me see your mouth. How wide does it open? Okay, okay. Well, an well, egg, an eraser, eggs don't erase. come in juvenile size. Doctors eggs say he had a normal day. This is a different <laughs> Okay. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, Gainesville, Florida.